So today what we're working with is the 4080 installation tool. It's a pull to stroke tool. So each time the riv nut is pulled, it pulls a set distance consistently. You could set the tool up to pull uh, a set distance, put an aluminum fastener on the mandrel and pull it and it would and then the next nut you could use a stainless one as long as it's the same nut and pull it and it would pull the riv nut the exact same distance it just pulls to stroke every time so right now what we have is that the tool is set up so that this adjustment ring right here is set all the way to the uh, far left so it actually has no pull up at all I'm going to I put the rib nut on, I pull back the trigger, and it did not upset the nut at all. So now we'll take this ring, and uh, with this position right here, we're going to turn it one full revolution, and then we'll pull the nut. Here's our nut. Automatically thread it all the way on. Also notice the mandrel is just even with the end of the nut. I'm going to pull the trigger and this is the amount of upset that we have. So it's not enough. So we'll loosen up this and we'll pull, uh, move the ring again one full revolution. Grab a brand new nut, thread it on the mandrel and pull the nut. So this is what we have now. Looks pretty good. If you thought that you needed to have more pull up, you could adjust this ring for more pull up or you could just leave it as it is. Here we happen to have a test plate and this plate is just a little under an eighth of an inch. So we'll go ahead and grab another nut, thread it onto the mandrel, pull the trigger. There we go. Looks like a very good installation. The threads are clean and the upset is optimal. If you felt like you needed to pull it more than that, you could, but to me it looks totally fine. Two full ring revolutions here on the 4080 tool.